Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a new iPad sleeve, and this is from a company called Mujo. This is from their Originals collection. Really nicely presented actually. I'm going to show you a little bit of a teaser as well. I've actually got their 13 inch MacBook Air sleeve. I'm going to save that for another video. So in this one we're going to concentrate on the Originals collection iPad sleeve. This is a Dutch company. Really nicely presented actually. I love the packaging on this one. I've already actually just unsealed the two side bits there and the top just lifts off like so. Picture frame anyone? And then we have to, we've got two little bits of cotton on the back. So I'm gonna grab my knife and just cut those just to get those out of the way. Just really easy to get into, love the packaging. Now this is handmade to perfectly fit the iPad apparently. It's made from three millimeter, 100% wool felt with anti-peeling treatment, water repellent as well, uh, and it's vegetable tanned leather on the top. I'm gonna have to do the sniff test, aren't I? Let's have a little sniff of this. Now it does come in other colors as well, but that smells really nice, really nice leather. Like that a lot, wow, that is, there's no chemical smell. Sometimes you get like a chemically smell with leather, but this one actually smells really nice liking that a lot so let's give you a closer look let me just come forwards and show you this a little bit closer so we've got the wool felt here and it's had this treatment applied to it normally when you get felt sometimes it goes bubbly or little bubbles appear on it but that shouldn't happen to this and then we've got the leather at the top we've got this sort of leather strap to hold the top flap in place and then we've got some really nice um, uh, sort of embossed lettering on here it says the originals and then we've got two little metal studs either side and then if we look around the back the metal studs hold that flap in place that's a really nice way of doing it there's not any contrast stitching on this it's all the same color as the actual sleeves it's all gray and then just white on the actual leather part and let's just open this flap oh wow that is really nice i didn't expect that actually let me show you so in in the main compartment we've got the mujo label and then we've also got a little compartment here as well in the front to keep a few little documents or notes. That's really nice, like that. So let's grab my iPad. I've got my trusty iPad 3 here and it just slips down into the case like so. Really nice fit actually. That is really a nice snug fit. So that's what it looks like in the case. So we've definitely still got room for some notes in the front there as well. Let's just close this up, put that flap back in. So that's with the flap in place. Really nice, classy looking case. Like that a lot. It is really nice. Now one thing I'm gonna try, I don't normally try this very often on all of my case reviews, but it's, um, I wanna see if, if I put my iPad back into my regular case, which is this, near case I want to see if it still fits in so let's just pop this back in close this up so this is how I normally use my iPad in one of these I want to just see if it fits inside still and it does look at that so it still fits in when it's inside my Unia case so if you've got something like a smart case or one of these low profile cases it should still fit into the Mujo originals case let's just pop that front flap around again so it's a little bit of a tighter fit obviously but it still fits in nicely that's made me happy like the quality it's a nice soft material as well pricing I have to remind myself of the pricing on this 39 pound or 60 dollars if you're in the US so for 39 pound you're getting quite a unique looking case love the combination of the leather and this wool felt material really do like it a lot Check out the links underneath the video so you can see where you can find the Mujo website. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this video, as always, please do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all in the next one.